Well, Lisa, I have no problem saying that Lincoln, the new Steven Spielberg film, is one of the most authentic historical dramas I've ever seen. What I think is magical about the movie is that because it's about one of the most mythological figures in American history, the effect of its authenticity is to make us feel as if we've stepped into a time machine and are going back and actually meeting Abraham Lincoln as if we're right there in the room with him. And I think the reason for that is that Spielberg, the screenwriter, Tony Kushner, and Daniel Day-Lewis as Lincoln have worked so hard together to ask and answer the question of who Abraham Lincoln really was. In Lincoln, they show us in a very subtle way what he looked like, what he sounded like, the kind of jokes and stories he told, uh, the way he was at once a man of the people who could talk to anyone, and at the same time, a man who lived inside his own head, wrestling with these private dilemmas as he tried to solve the problem of keeping the country together. What Lincoln is finally about is how Lincoln was an idealist who was also a ruthless politician who combined very nuanced negotiation with a kind of tough, take-no-prisoner strategizing. All of that is in the movie, and that's its power. One of the things that's so interesting about Lincoln, the man, is that there are so many scholars who can find different angles into him. One of the things that I think is so interesting about Lincoln the movie is that yes, although this is very much about Lincoln, you can also look at this as an entirely different story about democratic process. Mm. This is really about the passage of the 13th Amendment, mm -hmm. which abolished slavery, and it is watching, as you say, Lincoln the politician, working with other people in Congress who were as committed on one side or another as he was, we are seeing democracy at its most dramatic, its messiest, and its most exciting. One of the things that I love about this movie, and I think we are agreed in thinking that it is really one of the best movies of the year, but one of the things that I love about this is how many characters come through. There is Mary Todd Lincoln, Mrs. Lincoln, played by Sally Field. There is William Seward, the Secretary of State. There are all of these characters who come through, each one of whom comes along for a moment to state his or her case, not in a sort of educational film strip sort of way, but because we are seeing what it's like to make laws that actually affect the world. That's right. The movie really is about the legislative process, but that sounds a little dry. It's really about Lincoln being the one who recognizes this grand paradox of how Lincoln is the one who understands that though the Civil War has essentially been won by the North, if they just win the war and they have the South surrender, then, down the line, they will not be able to pass the 13th Amendment because the southern states won't vote for it. So Lincoln recognizes that he has this little window in which to pass this amendment or he's not going to be able to abolish slavery, maybe for decades, maybe ever, from the United States. Right. We are saying the same thing here. I mean, you're saying, on the one hand, it's not as dry as legislature, but in fact, I come back to saying that one of the things that's thrilling about the movie is that it makes government exciting, which is something that, in a way, you know, we always read into our time, whatever movie we're seeing. But if you ever want a reminder that people on both sides of an argument, both passionate about their positions, it's important for them to engage. This is the movie that shows that, not as a civics lesson, but just as a sort of discourse of the day. The other thing I wanted to point out that I loved is the way, I think in the movie, does weave in and out of his personal life with his wife and with his two sons, his two living sons, because one, of course, had died. And what is going on in him inside, in his deep loneliness, in his deep whatever it is that he has about him that makes him a genius. I love how the script and the story flows from one to the other, all held together by yet another spectacular performance by Daniel Day-Lewis. I mean, I cannot imagine anybody else doing anything more brilliant than the way he inhabits this man. Totally. I mean, he gets something beyond the voice and the mind. He just gets the vibe and makes you feel as if you were right there in the room with Lincoln. Um, at the same time, as you point out, it makes the legislative process incredibly suspenseful because there are all these dimensions to it that have to fit together. And you know, it's funny, the movie is based on the Doris Kearns Goodwin book, Team of Rivals, and that was a book that was talked about a lot when Obama was elected right. because Obama had his own team of rivals with getting Hillary to be Secretary of State. And I think that there's a funny way that through that book, the movie is very much speaking to the present day. It's almost speaking course, to Obama. Yes. 
the movie is about how politics now, as it always did, requires two things. It requires subtlety and humanity, and it requires absolute ruthlessness, which we see that Lincoln has. And in a sense, the implicit statement that Lincoln as a movie is making to the present day, to Obama, to the legislators today, to us, is to, to can you be tough enough to fight for what is right? It's not enough to have the ideals you have to be willing to go to the wall with them.